Hi there. Now, sometimes you're going to find that you're going to need to form an equation to find particular values in various regions in a Venn diagram. And that's what the aim of this particular video is. Here I've got an example which I'll work through and in the same video I'll give you another one to try. So we've got here a class of 30 students were given the option to do biology, chemistry or neither biology or chemistry. And 20 opted for biology, 17 opted for chemistry and 4 opted out of doing biology or chemistry. So in order to set out this data, if we draw a Venn diagram in the usual way, it's going to be something like this, where we have the universal set, two sets here overlapping, B for the people who opted for biology and C for those that opted for chemistry. Now, because we've got a class of 30 students, I'm going to put here in the universal set just a note here that there's 30 students then contained in here. And then for biology, we've got 20 opted for biology. So similarly, I'll put 20 there. So we know there's 20 in this set here. And we've got 17 opted for chemistry. So I'll put that in there. What other information we got? We got four opted out of doing biology or chemistry. So I know that that must be four outside the biology and chemistry sets. Now, that leaves me with three regions here that I don't seem to have values for. And this is where we need to use some algebra. So what we'll do is let x equal something. In this case, I'm going to say let x be the number of students opting for biology and chemistry. So I'll just label that with x. So those that just do biology only must be 20 minus x. And those that do chemistry only must be 17 minus x. And now I can form an equation. I know that the total of these four regions should come to 30. In other words, 20 minus x plus x plus 17 minus x plus 4 equals 30. So I can form this equation. And then simplifying this, we end up with 41 minus x equals 30. And this reduces to x equaling 11. And now we can fill our values in. For x here, we've got 11. For this region, 20 take away 11 gives us 9. 17 minus 11 here gives us 6. So we've got the values of the four regions. And now we're in a position to answer these questions. So just put up here answers. And for the first question, we've got how many opted to do biology and chemistry? Well, that's going to be this section here. And that's going to be x, which is 11. And for number 2, how many opted to do just one of these subjects? Well, it would be 9 that did biology only and 6 that did chemistry only. So 9 plus 6 gives us a total of 15. Now, I've got another question that I would encourage you to have a go at. And here it is. In a survey of the types of books read by 45 students, 12 read both crime and horror, 9 read neither crime or horror, and twice as many read crime as horror. So do have a go at this, pause the video, and when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the solution. So drawing our Venn diagram, it's going to look something like this. We've got the universal set, the two sets, C for crime and H for horror. And when we come to fill this in, we've got 12 red, both crime and horror. So I can put the 12 immediately in the middle here. And then we've got nine red, neither crime or horror. So that clearly goes on the outside here. And then we've got twice as many red crime as horror. And that doesn't allow me really to fill in this region or this region. So what I need to do is introduce x into this. And I'm going to define x as being, let x be the number of students that read horror. So 
I can say then that the number of students in this set of H is X. So that means the number in the set for crime must be twice as much. So we'll call that then 2X. So I can write each of these two regions in terms of X. This one here must be 2X minus 12. And this region must be X minus 12. Now I know that this survey was carried out amongst 45 students, so we've got 45 students then in the universal set here. And I can form an equation. We would have 2x minus 12 plus 12 plus x minus 12 plus the 9 must equal the 45. So writing that down we've got this. And then Simplifying this, we end up with 3x equaling 48, from which x will equal 16. So now we can fill in this region here. 2 times 16 minus 12 gives us 20. And this region here, 16 minus 12 leaves us with 4. So we can now answer these two questions. So the answers to these then We've got, for number one, how many red crime? Well, that's going to be 2x here, or 20 plus 12, give us 32. And then for question two, we've got how many red just horror? And that's going to be this section here, the four. So I hope you're able to get those right and uh, can see your way now through handling these algebraic types.